Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we are discussing a watch that embodies both beauty and the beast. Brains and brawn in equal measure, it's the Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean 600 meter chronograph, a master chronometer in stainless steel and set in a rose gold. You can see and purchase this diver on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop and naturally complete pricing to sales for this Seamaster Professional Planet Ocean 600 meter chronograph. This watch has it all. I recall an ACDC song called Whole Lot of Rosy, and although this watch is a combination of steel and rose gold, the rose gold is the dominant accent along with the blue coloration. It creates a watch that's more striking perhaps even than a full gold timepiece. This watch has wrist presence physically and aesthetically. Now in terms of the size, it's a big watch. 45.5 millimeters across the round of the case. That's not including helium escape valve, crown, crown guard, or pushers. It's just as thick as you might suspect. A watch with this much complication and hermeticity. 19.3 millimeters thick, so this one ain't fitting underneath any cuff. I don't care how big it is, jacket or sleeve. Now across the wrist, the watch starts to recoup some ergonomic points, as it's a wearable 52.5 millimeters with stubby lugs that turn down rather dramatically, and a strap that's pliant enough and well shaped to fit a smaller wrist like mine. So my wrist is 16 centimeters in circumference. You can see from this overhead view, I'm going to try to contort myself as much as possible, that the watch is sitting evenly, comfortably, and securely. Purely. And I would say you could probably wear this watch in terms of physically accommodating it on a wrist as small as 15 centimeters in circumference precisely because the case back is regularly shaped and the lugs are short. The strap is also designed to work with your wrist. As you can see it's a conforming profile strap and especially when these are thickly bolstered they can really fight the curve of a small wrist. But you see it just pulls straight down. The strap doesn't flare out. It exits the lugs vertically. So don't think of this watch as a typical stiff strapped conforming end profile sports watch. This is a watch that is going to work with you and I will even say that compared to a 44mm Royal Oak Offshore on any bracelet or strap, leather or rubber, this is a far more wearable timepiece. The strap is also more flexible and pliant than you might uh, believe because it's a combination of leather and rubber and, and the rubber is distinctly the dominant feature. It doesn't feel like leather, it feels like a rubber strap. So when you have that leather for style and durability on the top side, down below you have natural vulcanized rubber with a wave pattern on the bottom to aggress against the wrist and provide a little bit more security. You also have a contrasting stitch on the underside that I find curious but handsome. A little bit of whimsy for those who will appreciate every facet of their watch, both seen and unseen. Now the clasp is a simple piece. As you can see, stainless steel, combination of polish and satin and finish. On the top, twin triggers. You will want twin triggers fixing this clasp shut because a clamshell system would not provide the security I would want here and a friction fit system would be entirely inappropriate given the value and weight of the watch. The minderless system though is welcome and refined. It allows excess strap length to tuck underneath the clasp body. It actually goes through the clasp so it'll be lower in profile and then there are no keeper or minder loops on the strap itself. So the strap is a handsome combination of blue leather and blue rubber and the case itself should be familiar for everyone who knows Omega. We all know that sheer side in satin finish and the polished bevels. It's on virtually everything and it has been for the better part of 50 years. Now the timepiece has a combination of Sedna Rose Gold and stainless steel. Let's talk about Sedna Rose Gold. It's very much like Rolex Ever Rose. Now the watch is off the wrist. Let's get close hauled and appreciate it in tight. This is essentially a darker, heavily copper based rose gold that is more like red gold than pink or red. And then it has a high percentage of white metals such as platinum that help to prevent oxidation. So Sedna effectively the same tone and blessed with the same resiliency as Rolex Ever Rose. It will not fade to yellow in time. Helium escape valve, present and correct, thread it out and now you saturation divers have a means of evacuating helium that might build up in your watch during a dive. If you don't need this to prevent the blowout of seals and crystal, it's a wonderful discussion piece and a luxurious excess as luxury is about getting more than you need. The bezel is striking to see and a pleasure to use. Now let's talk about what's here. 
Deeply knurled and easy to grip, it is Sedna Rose Gold on the outside. Inside, it's a combination of inlaid Sedna within a gloss blue navy colored ceramic. The ceramic effectively is scratch resistant as the sapphire crystal itself ensures long wearing durability and good looks for the watch. It also perfectly matches the zirconium oxide gloss blue ceramic of the dial, so there's color coordination going on here. You can rotate the bezel and give you a full 360 degree turn and align with the minute hand. Now you have a timer for counting down from 60 minutes to zero, or counting from zero up to 60 minutes, I should say. This is useful whether you're diving or not. It's an easy reference. I find it preferable to a conventional chronograph in as much as I can more easily read a large hand against a circular scale than I can a sub-register, especially a sub-register like this where I have concentric hands reading minutes and hours on the same scale. So you can time two events concurrently using the bezel and the chronograph. The watch has a discrete date window at six o'clock, nicely anchoring the dial. I appreciate that Omega Plant it at six to keep the dial balanced. Because of the mono counter that gives you minutes and chronograph hours on the same register, we have a somewhat vintage evocative double register design that's immensely handsome. And what you see on the dial that appears to be rose gold is in fact rose gold, not plated. These planet oceans, like the Of The Moon series of ceramic cased Speedmasters, represent flagship pieces for Omega, and so no expense is spared. That is all real gold. There will be a loom shot at the end of the video, so stay tuned. You can see that all of the printing is high contrast. It's more silvered than white, and it truly pops from the dial base. Now I mentioned that this is a master chronometer. Before I turn over and show you the Caliber 9900, let me clarify that these color coordinated blue and rose gold chronograph pushers are actually screw down look to make them look a bit more burly and better matched against the heft of the crown. They have the look of a screw down crown but they are in fact accessible at all times because life, especially life that must be metered to the second, doesn't always give you a running start to unscrew your pushers. Now the one thing I will caution against is using them underwater. Have Omega Boutique hands advertised these as underwater operable? Yes. Would I risk my immensely expensive and complicated timepiece on something that virtually every watchmaker would advise against? No. Now turning the watch over, you can see that the crown itself is set in a gold, and that is a screw down unit. You'll also note the attention to detail as the Omega logo itself is polished, and the outer face of the crown is entirely media blasted. This one is well executed. Now we turn over to what movement snobs are going to describe as the piece de resistance. Automatic winding twin barrels in series for a 60 hour power reserve, 54 joules, beating away at 25,200 vibrations per hour. It is a Metas certified master chronometer. So what does that mean? Well, first and foremost, you are gonna get a watch that meets the ISO 3159 standard on which the COSC test is based. So it meets the COSC, but it does it as a fully cased up watch. Now the Metas standard was created between Omega's efforts and those of the Swiss Federal Institute of Metrology, a government agency. So a test of the fully cased up watch against water, magnetism, shock, winding efficiency, power reserve, and of course chronometric precision is a much more complete test of the full watch, certainly then you will get with the COSC, which tests the basic movement. Now you also have an SI14 silicon hairspring that now renders the watch effectively amagnetic. It's no longer anti-magnetic. Short of truly extraordinary industrial circumstances, this watch is entirely resistant to magnetism. Note that it's a full balance bridge, a black screw on both sides of the balance, fixing the structure in place. Very shock resistant, free sprung index, allows the watch to be precisely regulated, but also allows it to avoid disruptions of timing that could become permanent with a mobile stud index. The fixed index with variable inertia bolts allows the watch to be free sprung and resistant to any kind of shock induced permanent timing variation. You'll also note, and you can see as I actuate the chronograph pushers, the column wheel structure is visible underneath the skeletonized portion of the bridge. That makes for a very crisp actuation. The watch does feature a number of refinements. In addition to its chronograph functionality, there's the column wheel that is the engagement mechanism and with a column wheel and a vertical clutch, you get that crisp engagement. And then the vertical clutch connects the drivetrain to the chronograph mechanism with no play, unlike a lateral clutch. So you can see how the chronograph seconds hand starts absolutely without jump. And because the vertical clutch doesn't have those extra teeth meshing like a lateral clutch, you can just leave it engaged. If you prefer to have center seconds to match hours and minutes in center, you can do that with the vertical clutch. 
Is there more? Mm, you better believe there's more. There's always more. The watch features hacking or stop seconds. So if you do thread the crown out to extremity, you can stop the balance, you can stop the seconds. Now you can synchronize the watch to a known accurate reference time. In the intermediate crown position, you have a time zone function that allows the watch to continue operating as you jump time zones. Doesn't affect the chronometric precision, just allows you to correct your watch as you travel over the international date line. Note the watch will drive the date east or west, depending on how you may travel. A very sophisticated mechanism that is perfect for the frequent traveler. This is a watch that really offers everything you might need. Now, only a truly immense wrist or a man with undoubtable panache could pull this off as an everyday watch. But then again, it is the man that makes the watch and not the other way around. If you're ready for it, this 600 meter diver is good to go. See it and make it yours for summer 2018 on our website. And we're back with the Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean. Master chronometer, 600 meters, set in a rose gold and stainless steel. It's a Planet Ocean 600 meter chronograph with style. Two tone by day and two tone by night in beautiful blue and green. The fact that the bezel is colored to match the critical minute hand, beautifully blazoned in broad arrow fashion, means this is an easy and friendly watch to read by night. Now, it may not be readable as a chronograph in the dark, but you do have to give Omega credit for creating fully luminescent sub-register hands. You can see this one by the light of day, big, bold, and beautiful on our website.